In exercise 1, let a is equal b t b inverse and compute a power 4. So if a is equal p t p inverse, then we said a power 4 is equal b d power 4 p inverse. So b is the matrix 5, 2, 7, 3. D, here it is D power 4, so 2 power 4, and 1 power 4, so this will give us 16, 0, 0, 1. Now, B inverse, B inverse is the inverse of this matrix. It is 2 by 2, the inverse is 1 over determinant, and we need to interchange between these two entries and put this one and this one minus. So, B inverse is equal. 1 over determinant of p. Determinant of b, 5 multiplied by 3, 15, minus 2 multiplied by 7, 14. So this is 1 over 1. Then 3, 5, minus 2, minus 7. So here our p inverse is 3, minus 2, minus 7, 2. Uh, sorry, minus 3, 5. So now we need to multiply this matrix by this matrix, then the result multiplied by this matrix. And this will give us 226, 90, minus 525, and minus 209. In exercise 3, use the factorization A is equal B, D, B inverse to compute a power k, where k represents an arbitrary positive integer. So here our a, and this is p, this one is d, and this one is p inverse. Now we need to find what is a power k. For a power k, we put this one to be power k, this one power k, and all these will remain the same. Just we need to do multiplication between this matrix and this, and the result we multiply by the B inverse. Since if we multiply B by D by B inverse, we get the matrix A. That means the change only in A and B. So this is the result of multiplication B, D, B inverse. So now if we multiply B by D power K, so that means A power K is equal B, e power k p inverse so that's mean the change will happen only in a and in b so that's mean we need to change this one a this one b also this one and this one and replace it by a power k b power k so this will give us a power k 3 a power k minus b power k 0 b power k so this is our a power k matrix. In 5, the matrix A is factored in the form B, D, B inverse. Use the diagonalization theorem to find the eigenvalues of A and a basis for each eigenspace. So if this one A, this one is B, this one is D, and this one is B inverse. According to the theorem, A is diagonalized to the matrix D and the matrix B, where B is the eigenvector, the basis for the eigenvector, and the D is the <coughs> eigenvalues. And be careful here, if lambda is equal to 5, then the corresponding eigenvalue, eigenvector is the first one, which is 1, 1, 1. So for lambda is equal to 5, the V is equal 1, 1, 1. And for lambda is equal 2, he, for lambda is equal 1 with multiplicity 2, so for lambda is equal 1, the basis is or the vector are 1, 0, 1, and the other vector is 2, minus 1, 0. يعني بما أنه هنا عندي 1 with multiplicity 2 إذا 2 vectors هذيلا عبارة عن ال eigen vectors corresponding to the eigen value lambda is equal to 1 
أول واحدة تبع اللمدة is equal 5 إذن the basis or the eigen vector of the لمدة is equal 5 is the first vector which is 1-1-1 In exercise from 7 to 13 diagonalize the matrices if possible the eigenvalues for exercise 11 to 16 are as follows so some eigenvalues are given and some eigenvectors are given we need to diagonalize that means we need to find the eigenvalues we need to find the eigenvector then write what is d and what is b so for 7 to find the eigenvalues we need to find the determinant of a minus lambda i is equal to 0 so our matrix will be 1 minus lambda 6 then 0 minus 1 minus lambda we want to find the determinant of this matrix and make the determinant is equal to 0 so the determinant will be 1 minus lambda multiplied by minus 1 minus lambda then minus 0 is equal to 0 now we want to factorize this one either 1 minus lambda is equal to 0 or minus 1 minus lambda is equal to 0 so that's mean lambda is equal 1 or lambda is equal minus 1 so we have two value for lambda now to find the eigenvectors just we need to find what is a minus lambda i multiplied by x is equal to 0 so we start by lambda is equal to 1 so for lambda is equal to 1 we have a minus x so a minus i multiplied by x is equal to 0 so that's mean a is 1 6 0 minus 1 we subtract 1 from the main entry from the main entry so he, th sorry from the main diagonal so we subtract from here 1 we subtract from here 1 we get our matrix here 0 then 6 0 and minus 2 so after doing row operation for this one we get if we swap between this row and this row and then multiply the row by 1 over 6 so this will give us 1, 1 over 3 is 1, 0, 0. So from here, x is equal x1, x2, where x1 is equal 1 over 3. Sorry, this one here I forget to add 0. So this one zero zero. Similarly here, so x one is equal one over three x two and x two is a free variable. So that's mean it is x two and here we have one over three one. So the eigenvector will be one over three and one. Then we need to do the same thing, but here our lambda when lambda is equal minus one. So a minus lambda i multiplied by x is equal to zero. That is when lambda is equal minus 1. So here we have it will be a minus and minus. So it will be a plus i multiplied by x is equal to 0. So that's mean we need to add. So it will be 1 plus 1, 2 minus 1 plus 1, 0. So 2, 6, 0, 0. Now we do row operation. After row operation, this do row operation for this one. We get it is one zero zero zero, and here we have zero zero. So x will be equal x one x two, where x one is equal to zero. X two is a free variable, so we can write it as x two. Then here we have zero and one. So now our d will be. The eigenvalues are 1 minus 1, so here we have 1, 0, 0, minus 1. 
our p will be the eigenvectors but we be careful here if you write first one then you have to write the corresponding eigenvector for one so for one when lambda is equal one the eigenvector is one over three and one when lambda is equal minus 1, the eigenvector is 0 and 1. Or you may write it as minus 1, 0, 0, 1. But here be careful. If you write first minus 1, then you write the corresponding eigenvector here, which is 0, 1. For 1 is, we have 1 over 3 and so the order here is important now we'll do the same thing for 9 11 13 first we'll find the eigenvalues then we'll find the eigenvectors if you want to check if this one is right or not just find since we know that a is equal b t p inverse just find what is a b is it equal to p d if these two are equal, then your calculation is right. But if it is not equal, that means you do some or you have some mistake in finding the eigenvalues or the eigenvector. In 9, again, we need to find uh, D and we need to find B if possible. So first we find the determinant of A minus lambda I is equal to 0. So from here we find that lambda is equal 4 with multiplicity 2. So now to find the eigenvectors, that means we need to find a minus lambda i multiplied by x is equal to 0. For lambda is equal 4, we get this matrix. After doing row operation, we have x2 is equal minus x2 multiplied by minus 1 and 1. So since we have only one eigenvector and we have two eigenvalues, which is lambda is equal 4 and lambda is equal 4. And so here we conclude that A is not diagonalizable since the dimension of the eigenspace of lambda 4, lambda is equal 4, is 1. And the multiplicity is 2. So since they are not equal, that means A is not diagonalizable. And this is by theorem 7. In 11, it is given the eigenvalues are 1, 2, and 3. So no need to evaluate the eigenvalues because it is given. So now we need to find the eigenvectors for lambda is equal to 1. A minus i multiplied by x is equal to 0. We need to do row operation for this matrix and we get the eigenvectors. Then after finding the eigenvectors, vector corresponding to lambda is equal 1 again we'll do the same thing for lambda is equal 2 to find what is the eigenvector and we find this one is the eigenvector for lambda is equal 2 similarly we do the same thing for lambda is equal to 3 to find the eigenvector so now we have three eigenvalues and three eigenvector we can write the matrix or we can diagonalize the matrix a as d is equal 1 0 0 0 2 0 0 0 3 and to write B, be careful that you write first the corresponding eigenvalue to lambda is equal 1. The corresponding eigenvector for lambda is equal 1 is the first one. Then the corresponding eigenvalue for corresponding eigenvector for lambda is equal 2 is this one, the second one. And the third one for lambda is equal a 3. Now for... 13, it is given also lambda is equal 5 and lambda is equal 1. And here it is a 3 by 3 matrix. So that means there is one of the eigenvalue has a multiplicity 2. So we know that when we find the eigenvector. So first for lambda is equal 1, we need to solve a minus i multiplied by x is equal to 0. And here we find that the eigenvectors are minus 2, 1, 0, and 1, 0, 1. That's mean lambda is equal to 1 has a multiplicity 2. Now for lambda is equal 5, the eigenvalue is minus 1, minus 1, and 1. So now we have three eigenvalues and three eigenvectors. First we write the eigenvalues, which is the matrix D. Then we write the corresponding eigenvectors, which is the matrix now for 15, it is given that lambda is equal 3 and lambda is equal 1. 
So again, we need to find what is the eigenvector. So lambda is equal to 1. We need to solve a minus i multiplied by x is equal to 0. We find that the eigenvector is minus 2, minus 1, and 1. Now for lambda is equal to 3, we need to solve a minus 3i multiplied by x is equal to 0. Find that we have two eigenvectors, minus 1, 1, 0, minus 4, 0, 1. That's mean lambda is equal to 3 has a multiplicity 2. So we just we left to and writing that we left with d is equal 1, 0, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 0, 3, and b is the eigenvectors corresponding to these eigenvalues. In 17, it is given that you know, lambda is equal 4 and lambda is equal 5. So now we need to find the eigenvector. So to find the eigenvector, first we need to solve a minus 4i multiplied by x is equal to 0. So we get this eigenvector. Now for lambda is equal to 5, we get this eigenvector. Since we have two eigenvectors only and our matrix it is a 3 by 3, so the, num the, base, the number of bases of the dimension of the eigenspace is 2 and the matrix is a 3 by 3. So from here we conclude A is not diagonalizable. In 20, use a property of determinants to show that A and A transpose have the same characteristic polynomial. That means we need to show that a transpose minus lambda i is equal the determinant of a minus lambda i. So first let us start by left hand side and then we want to show that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So left hand side Determinant of A transpose minus lambda i is equal determinant of A transpose minus lambda i transpose. Why we write this one i transpose rather than i? Because we know that i and i transpose are the same. In 21 and 22, we need to mark each statement to true or false and justify the answer. So A is diagonalizable if A is equal B, D, B inverse for some matrix D and some invertible matrix P. This one is false because D must be diagonal matrix not any matrix D. So false, D must be diagonal matrix. Then B, if Rn has a basis of eigenvectors of A, then A is diagonalizable. So that's mean A will have an eigenvectors. And these eigenvectors are linearly independent. So this statement is true. Now for C, A is diagonalizable if and only if A has n eigenvalues, counting multiplicity. This one is counting multiplicity. That means we have with the n eigenvalues here. It does not say it if it is uh, unique. Every eigenvalues has a multiplicity one. So if the eigenvalues with multiplicity are n, we cannot confirm that A is diagonalizable unless we have n eigenvectors. So this one is false. D, if, A is the, if, if the statement say that if A has n distinct eigenvalues, then A is diagonalizable, then we can say it is true, right? But with n eigenvalues counting multiplicities, we cannot confirm these eigenvalues has the same number of the eigen the, the same number of multiplicity is equal to the same number of the vector in the basis of eigenspace. Now for D, if A is diagonalizable, then A is inversible. We say this one is false 
there is no relation between inversible and diagonalizable. In diagonalizable, the matrix may have the eigenvalue is equal to zero. If, for example, we have a upper triangular matrix, for example, or lower triangular matrix, and in the main entry we have zero as uh, an eigenvalue, that means A is not invertible here because if the eigenvalue is equal to zero, that means A will not be invertible. So this one is false. Now for 22, A is diagonalizable if A has an eigenvectors. So this one, it should be linearly independent eigenvectors, not any eigenvectors. So A is false. It should be linearly independent eigenvectors. Now B, if A is diagonalizable, then A has undistinct eigenvalues. This is not always true because sometimes A has an eigenvalues counting multiplicity and in the same time A is diagonalizable, which is in theorem 7. If A, B is equal B, D with D diagonal, then the non-zero columns of B must be eigenvectors of A. This one is a true. So C is true. We said that A is equal B, D, P inverse. If we multiply both sides by B, we get A, P is equal D, B. Now, if E is the diagonal matrix, and B represent the columns of non-zero columns of the eigenvectors of A, that means it is diagonalizable. So C, if A is inversible, then A is diagonalizable. This one is false. There is no relation between diagonalizable and invertible matrix. 23, A is a 5 by 5 matrix with two eigenvalues. One eigenspace is a three dimensional and the other eigenspace is two dimensional. Is A diagonalizable one? By theorem seven, we said if we add the dimension of the eigenspace and it is equal to one, then A is diagonalizable. So here our n is equal to five. The dimension of one eigenspace is a three and the other one is 2, so if we add 3 plus 2, it is equal to 5, which is two, equal to 1. So, yes, A is diagonalizable. So, now 24. A is a 3 by 3 matrix with two eigenvalues. Each eigenspace is one dimensional. Is A diagonalizable and why? Here our n is equal to 3, and we have two eigenvalues. Each eigenspace is one dimensional, so if we add the dimension 1 plus 1, it's equal to 2, which is not equal to the n, which is a 3. So from here, no, a is not diagonalizable, because the dimension or the sum of the dimension of the eigenspace is not equal to the dimension or the n, which is, here we have 3 by 3 matrix, not equal to 3. Now for 27, show that if A is both diagonalizable and invertible, then so is A inverse. So if A is diagonalizable and invertible, we need to show that A inverse also is diagonalizable and invertible. Now if A is diagonalizable, so 27, if A is diagonalizable, that means we can write A is equal B, D, B inverse, where D is the diagonal matrix and B is inversible matrix. Now, if A is inversible, A is inversible, that means 0 is not an eigenvalue now hence the diagonal entries must not equal to zero so hence
the diagonal entries which is in the main diagonal it is not equal to zero because it is inversible that means d is inversible now what is our a inverse a inverse is equal or let us say first write a then we add inverse for both sides so a we said a is equal p t p inverse now if we inverse both sides so now this will give us a inverse is equal now here we have b d b inverse all inverse using the property so this will give us b inverse all inverse then d inverse then b inverse b inverse all inverse this is just the matrix b d inverse because it is diagonal matrix it will be d and here we have b inverse so our a inverse is diagonalizable because d is diagonal matrix and b is inversible matrix and since we assume from the beginning zero is not in the entries of the diagonal so from here we conclude that so d is the inverse is the diagonal which is d and a inverse a inverse is diagonalizable and invertible In 28, show that if A has unlinearly independent eigenvectors, then so does A transpose. So now, if A has, if A has unlinearly independent eigenvectors, that's mean by theorem. A is diagonalizable A is diagonalizable so that means we can write A is equal P D B inverse for some diagonal matrix D and some invertible matrix now let us find what is a transpose a transpose will be equal p t p inverse all transpose now using the properties of the transpose so a transpose will be equal p inverse all transpose D transpose and B transpose and we know this one can be written as P transpose all inverse D transpose it is just D because it is diagonal and P transpose is just B now if we assume if B is equal P transpose all inverse then that's mean P inverse is equal B transpose now so BT all M B transpose inverse this is P this one D this one is B inverse D is the diagonal matrix P is invertible matrix so that's mean A transpose is diagonalizable and it has an linearly independent eigenvectors so a transpose is diagonalizable and it has an linearly independent eigenvectors